the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. <laughs> well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waluda's. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. The Waluders must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? The kingdom of Walud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin, the Canvarian War of Independence in 849, the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, the Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the Blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Walud standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? In summary, I know not to what end the Royalists betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are... All of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kupka is dead. Hmm. 
No more looking over our shoulders, then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that... Hugo Cooper is dead. I can't tell you... how long I've been waiting to hear those words. <laughs> this is it then. Uh, a new beginning... under a new Sid. I'll try to live up to the name. Seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Kupker is dead. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Can it really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is. The <laughs> big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go put away your things. All right. Brilliant. Finally, a new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates, after Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him. With my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake. Like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A bringer of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. I'm telling you, it's true. I heard.
Otto's own lips, Hugo Kupka is dead. You barely sat down since you came home. Vivian got you running errands or something. Just spreading the word. So, the Professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tong down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. But I can't remember the last time she visited the old sod's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. Don't just stand there gawping. Go on, then. Finished, are you? Clive. I'm saying for you, dear. Give some greens to the chocobo. Mid hasn't been her usual self lately. Editors started reading books that don't have any. If I don't come up with something soon. All right, Clive. What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal. <laughs> Displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. 
And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood. And more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. The thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I were hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts mechin. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plate in. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. I can't make head nor tell of them. Luckily, you don't need to. some greens to the top. Blackthorn, can I ask a favor? Out with it. It's for mid. This my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. I'd spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Be easy though, and I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. So Lid's roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade steel won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperatures she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where, and we can get this over with. After the stardust, then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Gav, you're with me. All right, then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? 
There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Alamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of this stuff from Blackthorn Supply. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. Fleece me? I like to see him try. <laughs> In your own time. Sounds like this river we're looking for is south of the Dalamil Inn. I'll hire us a wagon and meet you there. I'll get us a good price. Is that one you want to worry about? Looks like I found the river. Now where's Gav? Sorry to keep you, Gav. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. I don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if Stardust is what Blackthorn wants, Stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about, just begging to be bagged. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya.
That should be enough for now. Let's see how Gav's getting on. You finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. That might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Here, uh, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man-to-man-like. Man -like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain? Hardly ever see around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. Right. That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Right. Ready to go home, boy? Let's hope this is all Blackthorn needs. Blackthorn, got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the Stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beats sneaking around on your tud all the time. I'll make a start on putting this thermal plating together then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work, too. Give us a shout if you need anything.
Fragment crystal too. Who's your Thank you, Clive. The man who not just from the I went up to give some greens to the chocolate. started reading books that don't have any pictures in. If I don't come up with something soon... You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent! One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry? Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. What's the name? Right. 